There was this video by a you know user by the name of Slauson Girl on Instagram. She decided to go to a work site um, off of Crenshaw out in Los Angeles to inquire about why didn't she see any black workers on a construction site. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. Hi, I'm trying to figure out how many black people clocked into work today on this site. Uh, why? Well, this is a magnet in project, so okay. it doesn't apply to the local hire under that unit. Okay. Okay. So, so the issue of it is, yes. is that that's not an appropriate question. It's a very appropriate question I because don't... we're talking about equity and inclusion. Okay, it's a I very don't... appropriate Who question. Who are you with? I'm actually a journalist. Okay, nice, but there's the And deal. I'm a community member at the that's biggest fine. thing of the that's whole... Fine. I'm just wondering. Well, I was driving by and I saw no black people. I'm not that's trying to right. be combative. You are. And I'm not trying... Anyway, yes. I Let's just wonder how many black the, people... The subcontractors hire their people. Yeah. I don't hire people. And what do you do? I'm the superintendent of the job. Okay. That means I run the job. Okay. I don't hire people. And what company are you with? The company's called Associated Construction. Okay. okay. And how many black people do you guys have on your team? We don't have any black people on our team. And why are you in a predominantly black community then doing that? Well, I'll tell you what. Yes. I don't, I'm not recommended by my company to hire anybody at all. I don't okay. hire anybody. No problem. So, so that's the exact. So. Okay, and what's your name? My name is Bob. Bob. Yeah. Sounds appropriate. Bob what? Bob. Bob. Bob Smith. Bob Smith. Yes. Okay, so I see you got a photo of Martin Luther King over there. That's like, right. Why? But no why? black people on the site. Why? Because that's because, not off my site. Because, my because site. you got Martin Luther King in this mug, but no black people. Yeah. You're rude and condescending. You need to get You're off my face. You're not allowed to be on my face. That's fine, but get out of my face. I'll kindly walk away. Thank you. Thank you. I'm out of your you face. Racist piece You're, of I'm shit. not even racist. You I'm are. Italian. You are racist. Just You're what? Please, You're what? Italian. It don't matter. On, it don't, don't matter. Place. You're still white passing looking man. Just because you're Italian don't mean you can't be racist against black people. You're in a black community with no black workers. What are you going to do? You're in a black community with no black work. It's not a black person on over here. It's not, not a black problem. person over here. Not my problem. Why are you in a black community? Ma'am, off my side. Ma'am, that's my a site. very racist, condescending Ma stuff I don't to have say. To, right. Yeah, off my exactly. side. Off my Bob. side. Crenshaw Boulevard doing this, y'all. Across from Gorilla RS. Bye. 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 Well, some people that see this and say, well, why would she go and ask him that question? He said he had nothing to do with, you know, the hiring uh, at all. Well, that could be true because usually the supervisors a lot of times don't uh, be involved with the hiring. But let me tell you something with this. Uh, so-called affirmative action. See this, the problem with the term minority is that doesn't mean black people because according to the federal, you know, law, that company was actually in compliance by hiring a lot of Latinos. See, when you don't focus on black hiring and stop saying minority, this is what you will get. See other groups uh, get hired over black people. This is why affirmative action, really don't benefit black people whatsoever. This is why Dr. Claude Anderson talked about how affirmative action even benefits white women. They don't have to hire black people with affirmative action. That's why, especially in California, LA, you, you'll see all the jobs, you know, with Latinos and hardly see any black people. It's also like that in Texas. You know, you drive by and you see on the highways, mostly Latinos you're on the highways, um, is, is mostly, uh, you see the home building, you see a whole lot of that. Matter of fact, when I went to Atlanta last week and I was driving, you know, down the highway, um, and I saw, you know, a crew of black people working on the road. I'm like, wow, I haven't seen that in a long time. Now back in Port Arthur, when I was a child, I would see a bunch of black men out there building the highways and, uh, out there building all the buildings and stuff like that. You know, you hardly ever see a construction crew of black men doing anything. Now they do have, um, companies that black people own that are construction companies, but you just don't see it like that. And then you hear about the dirty tactics that's being done, even trying to bid on a job and how some of these, you know, other groups, you know, especially those who come 
from Latin American spaces, how they be, you know, so low. And that's a lot of times how they get the jobs over black people. Cause they bid real low or they don't have to pay them as much. And some of them, not all, but some of them are illegal immigrants doing these jobs too. Because when they, the lies that, oh, well, they're doing the, they're picking the, the, the crops and they doing the, the house cleaning. No, they are, their men is on construction sites too. Their men are welders. Their men are pipe fitters. Those, those who are considered illegal immigrants are doing that too. Yes, they are. So that, that lie about, oh, they just taking jobs you don't want. No, they're taking the jobs that, that some people want. That that's the truth. But the sister had a right to go ask the question. Now she needs to take it a step further and start contacting, um, you know, all the different, you know, black groups and start getting with, of course, it's Los Angeles. So, you know, at the time, Nuri Martinez and the gang was awarding contracts and all of that to these different people. It's quite interesting that a black person was on the, on the uh, site. It is interesting after all those tapes came out of Los Angeles, but this is what's been going on in LA and a lot of people haven't been, you know, knowing what's going on. So shout out to our sister for being a citizen journalist. Cause see, this is what I tell a lot of you. All of us can be, you know, in black media, all of us. If you have a cell phone camera, you see something going on, you take the initiative, say, Hey, let me go film this because Hey, we all can't be everywhere as black people. We even with platforms. We can't be everywhere. We don't have the budget like the local media or na national media. You know, local media spend a lot of times up to a million dollars a month. I can tell you right now, I don't get a million dollars a month, especially just to be spending on this platform. If I had got a million dollars a month, oh, you better believe I would have a lot of people working all over the <laughs> America, working for us, making sure to go and get those stories, right? And not to say we won't get to a point that we could be making a million dollars a month. Hey, I call those things uh, out in, in the atmosphere and, and I believe those things will come back. I'm a firm believer of that. Now, those of you who have faith, you know what I'm talking about. But as of right now, we don't have a million dollars a month to spend. But what I'm saying is we need everybody to get involved because if this sister didn't put this video out, we wouldn't know, you know what's going on in these construction sites. So what, where is the black men? Why aren't they on these construction sites? Why are they only hiring one group of people? They talk about, like they say, diversity, equity, inclusion, D D I D E I or whatever, how they call it. Right. Where are the black people? Where are they? Because that's not diversity. If you're not bringing black people in, sorry. And black people need to speak up about affirmative action. Affirmative action does not help black people because when you allowed everybody, everybody is non-white and let me not even say non-white everyone except white males because white females can get involved with it too. Only white males can get involved in, uh, affirmative action is those who are LGBT or those who are, have some sort of disability. So everybody can get in on affirmative action. It doesn't benefit black people. We have to come to the realization about affirmative action. Listen, the first draft of affirmative action where it only benefited black people was right. That was the right way. When it was amended to allow minorities to get involved, that's when it went to hell right then and there. But y'all let me know what y'all think about, you know, our sister here, you know, just asking some questions. That's all. And it was interesting. This guy had Martin Luther King, you know, on, on his wall. It was interesting. If you follow the principles of Dr. King, we wouldn't even have half of the problems in this country. Hey family, make sure you join us on the new and improved African diaspora news.org. Now it is our uncensored and raw truth website. We have to make sure to have our own website because on social media platforms, they do have rules and at any time they could change a rule and shut a whole genre down. Now that would not happen to us because on African diaspora news.org, we can speak the truth. We don't have to hold back. So make sure you join our website today.